We're watching a developing story from Afghanistan this hour. The Taliban has announced a new cabinet for its government. CBC's Susan Ormiston is in Islamabad, which is in neighboring Pakistan, and she's got the latest. Well, what we're seeing is that the Taliban have introduced a caretaker government, not a full government, and there are some old school names in that government, hardliners, including the interim prime minister, uh, Mullah Hassan Akhund, who headed the Taliban government the last time it was in power in Kabul, in the last few years of that uh, regime. So he's coming back as interim prime minister. We're also hearing um, Abdul Hani Bar Barader, who was the man who led the negotiations with the U.S., which led to the U.S. withdrawal. He will be a deputy prime minister. And one other name that's significant in this list, Sir Judin Haqqani, the head of the Haqqani Network, which is considered by the U.S. To, and many other Western countries as a terrorist group. He will be interior minister. So what this means is we're looking at a, a group of experienced Taliban leaders, but also hard liners. We're also seeing some missing elements. There are no women in this uh, interim cabinet and there is no diversity, both things that the Western governments were pushing uh, Afghanistan and the new Taliban government to include. We've heard a lot about inclusivity in this government. We're not seeing this represented tonight at all. Also striking that they did not have a celebration, uh, a presidential palace announcement. These names were released at a news conference by the Taliban spokesperson, uh, you know, quite late in the evening in Afghanistan. And they're saying this is a start. It isn't the full government. We're also hearing that there may be some kind of an advisory group, which would include perhaps members of the old Afghan government, uh, including the president, former president, Karzai and Abdullah Abdullah, who's been leading many of the negotiations up to uh, the fall of the Afghan government. So, you know, top line is this is a, a list of names, uh, hardline uh, Taliban people who've been in government before and who are part of the founding members of the Taliban government. And it still is interim. So we don't know who else will be included in this. And, you know, this vacuum of leadership has been a problem in Kabul because people have been worried that there's no, uh, you know, government, there's no uh, enforcement, there's no rules, there's no laws in terms of what this country will look like. We still don't have a good sense of that tonight. That's CBC's Susan Ormiston in Islamabad, Pakistan.